It's been the international students that have kept it all afloat. This higher education consultant says for years, foreign students have been offsetting the inadequate public funding colleges and universities receive. And now losing these students means the status quo will have to change. You have to say to Canadian students and their parents, actually international students have been subsidizing you for the last 15 years. Maybe it's time for you to pay. Or to say to governments, it's time for you to start increasing your, uh, your uh, contributions. In January, the federal government reduced the number of international student permits by a third, then tacked on another 10% this fall. They argue it's necessary to deal with a housing shortage, particularly in tight markets. We are setting a national application intake cap for a period of two years. Two months into the first academic year impacted by these restrictions, the cracks are starting to show, especially in Ontario, which receives the lowest per student funding from the provincial government. We expect international enrollment to be down by about 25% for 24-25. The Council of Ontario Universities said that projected losses from international student tuitions add up to $300 million in the current academic year and $600 million in the next academic year. It's indescribable. It's, it's so heartbreaking. At Camosun College in BC, losing international students has meant $5 million shortfall for the next school year, and faculty has been told job cuts are imminent. Everyone is afraid for their jobs, they're afraid for their students' futures, and they're, we're all afraid for the health of our organization. Domestic students at other BC institutions are already feeling the impact. Even though I'm in my fourth year, there's just simply not enough classes being offered to get enough credits that I need to graduate. Organizations representing universities say governments absolutely need to pitch in more money to their funding. Otherwise, what's at risk could be hundreds of thousands of spots for Canadian students in the next few years. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.